Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Budgeting My Abundance. I am the Abundant Mama and this is the channel where I am basically um, documenting my journey to becoming financially free, living a financially independent life. And I do that using uh, budgeting, using the um, zero-based budgeting system, cash stuffing, as well as uh, savings challenges and sinking funds. So if that sounds um, interesting to you, then hit that like and subscribe button and join me on this journey. If, uh, well actually, this year I'm or this video, I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm gonna be doing my yearly savings, basically using my yearly savings tracker to find out how much I saved. Normally I use this for my emergency funds or my emergency challenge. But um, as we go later on in the video, I will explain why I'm probably not gonna use this. Um, and I'm just gonna go over the back part. Um, so yeah, normally I would be doing a cash stuffing for my bills, but I decided I wanted to close out the year and do like a, a um, yearly savings check-in instead. And the reason why is because if you saw my last video, I was offered a position to become permanent yay but that does not start until the second week of january so that meant throughout this break because i work at a university um we're we have a week and a half off for um the winter break during this week and a half i'm not getting paid for that because i'm still i'm still temp so until my papers cross over where i'm officially permanent then i'm not getting paid so and it's basically just to not mess up like my uh what is the word I'm looking for? My scheduling, like my uploading scheduling. So I have one more check that is coming in. Actually, I have two more checks coming in. Um, but the check that's coming in, I'm actually going to stuff that and upload it next week. So that way, during the week where I don't have a check coming in, you'll be looking at, the, and you know, it's all scheduling. You'll be looking at a December one, but it's whatever. I mean, it would actually be like the last check for December, but it's whatever. Um, I just want to get this done and I wanted you guys to be able to see something. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and start off. And it was very rambly, but it's okay. So normally, here's the history with this. I was using this for my emergency, um, my emergency funds challenge. And I was trying to do it where you can see how much I managed to save for February and so forth. But because of the year that I had, and it was very challenging, um, I had to start over on my challenge a few times. So this is not really accurate anymore. <laughs> so I'm not gonna use this. I'm actually just gonna write it on the back. So we're just gonna start. So for savings, I'm gonna pull that out and we're gonna count how much I managed to save with savings. And I end up using just a little bit of my savings. So for savings, we have two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, 50, 60, 70, 75. So 175. And hopefully y'all can see this because I know um, when I'm writing things down, it tends to Y'all tend to not really see it because of the distance. I'm still working on that. Like I am still learning like editing and all the other good stuff. And I don't want to be like, well, I'm constantly, oh, regular screen and then close up. Regular screen and then close up. Like I, I, I would assume that would get annoying. So for the last December check-in, because this is normally what I would do. Let's see how much I managed to save. And I usually write, I'm not even gonna do this. Let me throw this back in here. I usually add up my ones and my fives and my rollovers. And I do have a rollover and I forgot to pull it out. Like I said, because I'm doing the other video later, I had this money for my rollover. I just never actually stuffed it. So here's some ones and no, it's kind of counterproductive. It's like, you're just gonna be pulling out again. It's fine, let me just do this. So I'm stuffing it in there. 
just for me to pull it out. Got this. So here's the five. The fives. And this is the 20 that I was supposed to throw in there for my rollovers and I didn't. And a one. This is probably the most I have saved when it comes to my ones and my fives and my 20s. Of course, at the end of the year. But for ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that's sixteen and ones. What? Right. Sixteen and ones. Twenty. Plus. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I managed to save $61 just from the rollovers or like my $1 challenge and my fives and the rollovers alone. So yay for that. And then I always add it to my emergency challenge. So I can... There we go. I'm hoping this video isn't too long. But it might be just because it's the end of the year and there's a few things that I want to discuss. Um, such as my plans for the new year. Like my goals, rather, for the new year. Um... like uh some stuff about vision boards um because i have all oh, i can actually talk about vision boards now actually so i've always been into vision boards um like what i want to do for that year how i want to see that year going it's always cool to have one and me and my friends we actually make it a thing where we would do like the new year's brunch and do vision boards together well um i'm only this Well, um, this year I did a little different. We're still, more than likely, we're still going to get together and have like our New Year's brunch. But um, I d learned how to make a vision board, a digital one. And I thought that was actually pretty cool because I am very much an out of sight, out of mind person. So it's cool that I have like this vision board that's on my wall. But when I'm at work, I'm not really thinking about the said vision board that's on my wall because it's on my wall. So I learned how to do one, a digital one, and put it on my phone. And I actually got the idea from Monique Hinton. I will link her video um, in the description below so you guys can see how to do it if you're interested in doing it yourself. That way, um, I put it as like the lock screen on my phone. So that way, every time I look at my phone, I'm constantly reminded that this is, these are my goals and this is what I'm working for. So we're going to go ahead and count how much I have managed to save. And this is all for the emergency fund. Two, four, six, eight, one. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So three hundred and thirteen dollars. Yay! I am, that means I am slowly working my way back up to that five hundred point. And if you guys remember, once I hit five hundred, that's when I take all this money and I put it into my savings, and I then use the five hundred dollar placeholder. How much did I say it was? It was something. 13, 13, 313. Let me write this down before I forget again because I'm not counting this the third time. All right. All right. And now begins the challenge of me putting this back in here. All right. So next is the self care. And for self-care, 
Okay, so for self-care, I actually finished this challenge. I'm gonna count it, wait, wait. I actually finished the challenge. I'm gonna count it out, and I'm gonna explain how I ended up finishing it. Is this all of it? Okay. So, I inadvertently hid money from myself, and then when I found it, I was just, just like, you know what? I've been wanting to at least close out one challenge uh, by the end of the year, so I just threw that money <laughs> at the self-care challenge and finished it out. So, but I didn't color it in, so let me pull it up. That was on point. So, the goal, um, cause I did the $5 every stuffing. So that meant that I should fin I should have 120 and I, I do. Two, four, six, seven, eight, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, so 120. I'm gonna write that down. So, hallelujah, I finally finished at least a savings challenge. And that's all I can ask for, because like I said, this year has been challenged. I went from being laid off to, and being unemployed for quite some time, and then getting a new job, and then loot, you know, rebuilding my savings and then losing that job and then finding another job. So it has been a very trying year. And then it was just very a year of self-discovery and just learning different things about myself and like trying to figure out what it is that I really want to do. That's what this year I feel has been for me. 2022 has been all about me learning me. What do I want to do? What are my goals? And some of the lessons that I have learned and one of the lessons that I learned that I really needed to hear. And I think, um, I think her name is Save Budget Repeat. If it's not, I will, I, I know her when I see her because I'm subscribed to her channel. I will put her in there. But she, when she was doing the, um, our different budgeting journeys, she honestly put something on there, which was one of her advices that I needed to hear, which was if, like, I always keep saying, like, Comparison is the joy of all killer. And it's one thing to say it, but to truly, until you understand that, because that's what I was going through. I kept comparing myself to other people, even even other uh, budgeters. It's like, they're so successful. Um, they're able to get monetized and they haven't even, it hasn't even been a full year for them yet and what, what and whatnot. And I was like, I had to remind myself, their journey is not my journey. And also what, uh, what she said was, if you are going to compare yourself to someone, compare yourself to yourself. So this is where I started and this is where I am now. That's the comparison I need to be doing if I feel the need to compare myself so badly. And I truly needed to hear that because that actually got my mind right. So that's one of those things that I, that I took from this year. And I am so grateful for the our different budgeting um, journeys, because I, I learned a lot from that, and just being a part of it. So thank you, Budgeting April, for that. <laughs>
as I, I literally just started stuffing this. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight dollars for taxes. And this isn't like a long uh, challenge. It's literally just so I can have money saved, already saved up to pay off my taxes or to pay to get my taxes done. I'll do that. So I put eight dollars in there. And then for a month ahead, I'm not gonna count the front half because these are, are this is for stuff that's actually due soon. So I started a month ahead um, fund so I can you know have that. And as of now, there's no challenge to it, but I'm thinking I'm probably gonna add that, but that's gonna definitely be later. Right now, I am seriously focusing on just trying to pay off my debt. So for now, we have two, four, six, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. And I have my little divider that I, it just popped off. I have my little divider so I can separate the two monies. And just, it's simple, it just says divider. You guys can see that. So I can separate it and I know not to pull money from the wrong spot. And I do this to myself every time. I'm so sorry, y'all. And then for holidays, there's nothing to count because I spent it. But I remembered, um, and one of the previous videos i told you how much i had saved which was 331 and then i said i was throwing some more money towards it but it was going to be off camera so what i threw was uh 300 i'm sorry i threw 110 dollars at it so 331 plus 110 that ain't right it's 441 so that's how much i had saved and then I spent it. So I don't I don't know if I should even count that. And then for the envelope challenge. If y'all saw, uh actually made a little short um explaining my issue with the envelope challenge or the correction, because I made a boo-boo in the envelope challenge. I thought I didn't have the full amount, but I actually did. After I did my bill stuffing, I realized I did have the additional $21 that was needed because I was I had an IOU for the 26 so I stuffed five and needed to, an old 21 I actually had it so I just did that as a short if y'all are interested you'll see it <laughs> so two four six eight one two four six seven eighty ninety two hundred ten twenty twenty five 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. So 299. I just need a dollar. Stuff is back in there. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty close to, or at least I'm gonna say I'm a halfway done. Cause I think, for uh, the envelope challenge, the 30 envelope challenge that I'm doing, you're supposed to have saved 465. So, about maybe halfway. So, yay for that. Oh, and the manifestations. Manifestations is going towards um, our future home. It's kind of like, a slow challenge where like the goal granted we want to be able uh, hopefully in my mind um we would be purchasing a home or closing on a home maybe sometime around this time next year that's in that's my dream i don't know how real that is but that's what i'm hoping for 
So the manifestation is when I have extra money, I just kind of throw it there. And then um, once I've added this up, I can go on to more about that. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So $44. And then I'm just going to add all this up. Seven five. Can y'all see? Fifteen ninety. Yay! So, to anyone else that might be, uh, I do that in a month. Good for you. For me, that was a lot. <laughs> Like, to, for me to save that, especially with what I went through, just in general, not even what I went through, just to be able to save that amount to me, that's an all, you do an amazing job. I'm doing an amazing job. I'm giving myself some grace. I'm taking my kudos. That's cool for me. I like that. Because normally, I wouldn't have anything saved. So, I am very happy with this 1590. It has been a one hell of a year. And it's definitely been a learning experience for me for this year. So, moving on next year the name the word of the day of the word of the year for next year and it's kind of like a two-part word i guess i don't know like i want to say growth but i feel like this year was growth um and growth to me is too broad for next year the word well the word for next year is definitely strategy because i can say i want to grow as much as i want to but if i don't have a strategy on how I intend to make this growth, then I'm just saying the word. And so to me, the word strategy is a word for, for next year. And it's like, I, I want one of those things is strategizing how to grow my channel, strategizing how to market my business, all of this, like just strategizing what we're gonna, how we're gonna um, get this house, like hit the road, hit the ground running all of this i've already contacted people so i can take the um we could take the um home buyers the first time home buyers courses um we're working on our debt um and that's part of the vision board because um before normally i would do my vision board and it would just be pictures but this time i'm actually writing it out specificity is key and it's shout out to my theater uh teacher because he used to say that all the time when we were like trying to figure out the background or what have you of the character we were playing be specific what makes this character this character but you can take that piece of advice and use it throughout life. Be specific on your goals. Okay, you want this goal, how do you plan on getting it? What are the steps you plan on taking to reach this goal? All that stuff. So specificity is key and for me a strategy. Um, they kind of intertwine. So this is where this comes into play. So for manifestation, like that, uh, that envelope I had, um, one of those that's helping with that and towards manifesting this house is doing the 52 week challenge. I've already kind of started to budget out or at least do like a pre-budget in my, like how I wanted it to do. Um, also I'm doing the hundred envelope challenge, but if you guys remember in my savings challenge book, that hundred envelope challenge is a two part thing. So the first page is the hundred envelope it ain't the first page first page is the 100 envelopes and then after that is 101 to 200 because i want to do 200 envelopes because at the end i can save twenty thousand. that's the goal and my husband is joining me on this journey he will not be on the video he already said it but <laughs> he will be you know take his some money throw that towards the, um, the envelope channel so we're doing this together and um the other one is subscriptions we are doing i'm doing a subscription because there are some things i need to get into, into i was supposed to start this earlier this year but i didn't somehow it if i forgot it and so i have a few subscriptions that are coming that are going to be due so i'm going to be adding that to my sinking funds to knock those out and have the money by the time it's due and then another one is the uh, savings challenges like my monthly savings challenges which is in my book now i bought these little thingy so I can go month by month but at the end of December 
you see like my monthly savings challenges and I was trying to plan that out. So here's the savings challenge. I wanna get started on that for January. So I wrote basically all these sinking funds and not all of them are going to be like in every video. It's more of which ones are taking precedence over the other ones. Like I'm trying, I'm gonna try and do like the 52 week one and stay on top of that because I would love to use that 52 week to help with the down payment as well. If my goal is if I can hit the 100 envelope challenge and this 52 week one, then we're good. Cause the, the way I wrote this 52 week challenge, I should be able to save 5,000. Um, and if we, if we can, if we're actually able to finish the 20 envelope challenge, then it's 25. And that's a good amount to like for a home and all the other things that kind of go with it. Um, at least getting started. So that's what I have. Um, I think I have rambled enough for you guys today. Like, I, f I feel like this is a pretty lengthy video. But um, yeah, so that's what I have. This is what I'm closing the year out with. Thank you guys so much for all the support and the love that you have shown me. Um, like I said, next year I'm focusing on growing my channel my, one of my goals one of my bigger goals besides the house is to become monetized by the end of 2023 so just like and share and subscribe my videos like that helps get that helps my video just reach out to more people like i'm trying to get i love and i'm not gonna lie y'all i love our community we are so supportive of each other and i love y'all for that thank y'all so much y'all have made my first year of budgeting as trying as it was so amazing so that's all that's all i have to say happy new year's y'all i will see y'all next year bye